Hey, welcome to the UW Farm for a short fall virtual tour. I wanted to talk to you about the fall season. We just had our first hard frost, and that's a clear indicator for farmers and gardeners that the peak growing season in summer is over. Hard frost means that our annual crops, such as tomatoes, eggplant, peppers, we can no longer grow them because of seasonality. So we have decreasing daylight, decreasing temperatures, and our soil is changing a lot too. Less biological activity. So what do we do in the fall at the UW farm? We're harvesting a lot of brassicas. So we still have kale and collards and Brussels sprouts and some cabbages and cauliflower and kohlrabi, but it is limited because of the seasonality. One of the big pushes we also have is cover crop season. So you'll see a lot of our plots seem to be bare, but they're actually not. There are little seeds in there that are gonna sprout pretty soon that are gonna help us with soil health. So believe it or not, it may not look like we're doing a lot, but we actually are this hive of activity because we're getting ready for next season. Another thing we try to do is extend the season a little bit. So for farmers and gardeners out there, they often use a floating row cover, they'll put a low tunnel over a row crop, or we have a high tunnel in the distance, and we plant that with cold tolerant crops such as spinach, mitsuna, mustard greens, arugula. And you can actually grow some of those uh, crops through the season if you have protection. And we're especially lucky in the Pacific Northwest to have sort of moderate maritime climates west of the Cascades. October is also a great month of the year to plant garlic. We try to get all of our garlic in the ground by October 31st. We also have great fun harvesting and shelling all our dried beans. And let's not forget the root crops, potatoes, carrots, and beets. We also have some leeks in the ground at our other farm sites and scallions and herbs. So a lot of our perennial crops, the big thing we try to do in fall is to mulch them with leaves uh, that we gain from the university grounds crews and we blend those with coffee grounds and we mulch a lot of our perennial crops like asparagus, sunchokes, as I said, perennial herbs, and even our fruit trees. This is a great time of year for apples, pears, and to celebrate the harvest. One thing we like to do is put on a community meal and have a big event each year just to celebrate a successful season and to sort of recognize a lot of the challenges we had this season as we turn the corner and start to think about next year.